Hi, my name is Marsha McMullen. I'm an extension plant pathologist at NDSU and I have responsibility for providing serial disease management. Today I would like to talk a little bit about uh, fungicides for controlling fusarium head blight. And I'm standing in a plot of Briggs hard red spring wheat which has moderately, moderate susceptibility to fusarium head blight. And there is quite a bit of head infection in this untreated field or plot of Briggs hard red spring wheat. And we have infection levels that are 75% uh, to almost 100% infection in this Briggs hard red spring wheat. And so this infection occurred at early flowering. We had a rainy period here uh, during that infection period. And this is a non-treated plot. Adjacent to this plot, we have a fungicide-treated plot of Briggs. And we have almost no fusarium head blight in this particular plot that was treated. It was treated with one of our fungicide, two fungicides that we recommend for fusarium head blight control and those two products are Prosaro or Corumba and we recommend the full label rate for those products. Uh, the Prosaro in this instance was applied of early flowering at 6.5 fluid ounces uh, rate per acre and it provided very good control of the fusarium head blight. In fact, in our research studies across North Dakota, we have found that with moderately susceptible spring wheats, we have gotten 70% reduction of fusarium head blight, 60% reduction of vomitoxin, excellent control of our fungal leaf spot diseases and rust, and that all translates to an average of about 25% yield increase. So we do have very good products now and uh, available for North Dakota producers.